We will now continue with our tutorial on looping statement. This time, we will have a working example. This would be our problem. We're going to design a program with the name square cube that displays the square and cube of an integer from 1 to n. We enter a number and we generate an output getting its squares and cube. So the limit would be 3. <coughs> Let us launch our Eclipse. Select the default workspace. As we did before, we name our program with class square cube. Select the folder my first in, collapse it, collapse SRC, click select Java package, file, new, class. Name it square cube. Click finish. We include the scanner class to be used in the input of n. Let us start coding. Here we declare our input object for the scanner class. Let us import its library. Declare integer n for the number we will input. Prompt message enter n. And convert the input number into an integer and assign the value to n. Print the header text before we generate the squares and cubes of our number series. On this case, we need a counter that we will increment as we proceed in generating the values. Declare CTR on the declaration area. Since our generation of values starts with 1, initialize CTR with 1. We will use while as our looping statement to do the computing and generating of values. Our condition will be a comparison of CTR versus N. We need to check if CTR has already reached the limit N in generating the squares and cubes of the numbers. To compute for the square of the number, we multiply CTR with CTR. To compute for the cube, we multiply CTR with CTR with CTR or simply the square of CTR with another CTR. We name our accumulators with the same name, square and cube. Initialize it with zeros. We are now ready to print the values of square and cube on an integer. Display the values CTR. Separate CTR value with box plus T. For the square value of the integer, concatenate uh, 
another tab concatenate it with the cube values terminate it by semicolon the generation of values does not end with one alone on our example input we need to generate n with the value of 3 so our limit was set actually with 3 increment ctr with ctr plus plus CTR has now a value of 2. That will set the whole block of our while statement. As the loop ends with the closing brace, it will evaluate again at the beginning of our while statement if CTR is less than or equal to n. Is CTR less than or equal to n? Is 2 less than or equal to 3? True. Implement again the block statement inside while. Square will have a new value of 4. 2 multiplied by 2. Cube will have a value of 8. 4 multiplied by 2. Print again the new sets of values with 2 as the value of CTR. 4 for the square, 8 for the cube. Increment CTR, CTR is now 3. Look back. Is 3 less than or equal to 3? True. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. That would be the value of square. 9 multiplied by 3 is 27. That would be the value of cube. Print 3, 9, and 27. Increment CTR. CTR is now 4. Test if CTR is less than or equal to n, which is 3. Four less than or equal to three. False. The execution the execution proceeds outside the while loop since there is no no more thing to do next. The program terminates. Let us save this program and run. enter 3 so this would be our output hi this is Jerry thank you for watching this video if you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial please click the link below do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account don't forget to hit the like buttons